Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Peak Refuel Chicken Pesto Pasta and why this may come in handy in some of your preps. All right, everybody, welcome back. So you guys have probably seen that I've reviewed some Peak Refuel foods in the past. Um, this is a brand new entree from them, and it is the uh, premium version. And basically, it's got 43 grams of protein per pouch. It's two servings, so when I tell you the price later, you'll understand this is for two people. Uh, and again, you can take a look at it and see if that's enough food for two of you, if, you're, if you eat more than that normally. One of the reasons I want us to look at this today is to tell you about the high-quality ingredients that they use and to try it out for myself to see if it's actually any better. They use real meat in all of their premium entrees. There's no TVP or meat fillers. They're all non-GMO, and all of their ingredients are USDA inspected and sourced from trusted suppliers. So for something like this, that's kind of unusual for them to actually put that much effort into a, uh, into a meal. One of the other cool things about this is it uses a whole lot less water than other bag-type entrees. Your mountain houses typically use about two cups or a cup and a half of water. This uses three, three quarters of a cup. So if you're on a restricted bit of water, you know, and you don't have a lot of water to spare, something like this can come in handy. Also, from what I remember from previous peak fruit, fuel, refuel meals, is they're very tasty. They're really good. So it's kind of nice to add something like this as, say, a morale boost or a little bit of a change of pace. Um, if you stockpile nothing but beans and rice, you're going to thank me later for having one of these in there. That's why I don't suggest doing that. Another thing I noticed about this is the chicken pesto pasta is actually green. I've had some pesto MREs. If you've ever had the pesto MRE, that's red. Now, pesto sauce is generally made with basil, pignoli nuts, or uh, pine nuts, and, or, uh, and some olive oil, and kind of mixed together like that with garlic, fresh garlic and herbs. Um, and what got me about the other one was it was red. It was like tomato sauce. So at least this is kind of true to the original recipe. So this is white chicken with ziti noodles and a creamy pesto sauce. We're going to put it together and try it out. I'm going to show you what it looks like, give you a little bit of a look at the uh, nutritional information. So each serving, there are two servings, is 460 calories. You have, if I can read that, I'm going to slow it down for you, all through here. So if you want to freeze it and look at it there. And the serving sizes are 81 grams each. So, let's read the ingredients real quick. Pesto sauce, pesto, basil, canola, canola oil, Parmesan cheese, pasteurized skim milk. So far, nothing unusual. Cheese culture, salt, garlic, black pepper, instant ziti. There we go. Riboflavin with folic acid, cooked diced seasoned chicken, and white meat and salt. So, if you're looking for something like this that doesn't have a ton of uh, funky ingredients in it, a ton of chemicals, this might be a good option for you. It is rather plain. There's not a bunch of um, chemicals and preservatives and stuff they normally put into freeze-dried food. Uh, more and more I'm seeing that people are freeze-drying stuff at the peak of freshness and just leaving it alone and not putting a bunch of fillers to extend the shelf life on it. Now the shelf life they say on these is five years. My suggestion is if you keep it in a cool, dry place, it's probably good for 10 or 20. Honestly, I don't think it's going to go bad on you. So the pouch weighs 5.71 ounces. It preps in 10 minutes with, again, 5.3 ounces or three quarters of a cup of boiling water. You prepare it in the pouch, drop your water in there, and you're ready to go. These are made in the United States, and they're packaged in the USA as well. So what I'm going to do, and I'll bring this stuff in for you to take a look, we're going to try this. Now, this is my, still working on the scooter to get it registered, but it's going to be my scooter cook kit. Uh, I have my Luxata titanium stainless steel stove, my Luxata titanium crossbars here, so you can put something on top of it, and my Boundless Voyage titanium cook kit, the reason I went with titanium for this particular situation is I want it as light as possible. I don't want a ton of weight weighing down the scooter, but this is an extremely light kit. So we're going to eat it out of this. I'm going to show you the whole serving, and then we're going to boil some water in there. So what I'm going to do is light this stove here. Get this going. There we go. And I'm going to wait a minute. When that blooms, I'll bring you back, and we'll put the water in, and we'll try it out. All right, so that's rolling along there. I've got my three quarters of a cup of water on these. And if I remember correctly, the peak refuel ones are right on the money. I know with Mountain House, sometimes you kind of have to underestimate. These are right on the money, so I'm just going to pour that in there. Drop it on top. And we're going to boil that up. This does come with a nice little lid here, so... Oops. Purposely moved it the wrong way there. <laughs> there we go. 
So we're going to give that a few minutes and uh, boil it up, and we'll uh, try out the meal after we let it sit. All right, so we're almost at boiling really, really close. It's just starting to roll now, actually. So we're ready to go there. I'm going to pull this off the fire. Actually, I'm going to open this up first so we don't waste our boiling water. There we go. Open this up. All right. Oxygen absorber is right on top. We'll pull that out. Take this off the fire there and pour it in. Okay. Now let me put that out. I got a can I use for it, but you can pretty much use anything. Um, it does not come with a snuffer, by the way, that stove. Too hot. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. That's all set. I'm going to mix this around a bit in here. You want to mix this up really, really good because there's a lot of uh, food in here. Okay. Give it a good mixing. And I can see the chunks of chicken in there, even though they're freeze-dried. They look like they're grilled, diced pieces of chicken. That's impressive, actually. They don't have that generic white, just like they were just boiled type look to them. So... They say to let it sit for 10 minutes. That's what we're going to do. And I'm gonna clear my stuff out of here and let that sit for 10 minutes. We're going to come back and give it a try and see how we like it. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes, actually. I wanted to make sure it got all finished up. Let's try it out. Looks pretty good. I'm just going to dump some out into this little pan here. Yeah, see, that to me says pesto. There's a hint of green in it. There's some basil and oregano and other things in it. So let's try it out and see. I'll give you a look up close and then we'll see what the taste is like. There you go. That is really good. I am really impressed. You can see what it looks like. It's got that creamy but it's got the hint of pesto in it too. Mm. That is definitely really good. Well there's lunch for today. <laughs> that is definitely a good deal. And that's a decent amount of food. I mean you see what I got in there. And I have a whole nother serving in there. So if that would fill you up, if you have to eat the whole bag, yeah, it's going to be a little more expensive than regular freeze-dried meals. However, you are getting a better quality product. You're getting real meat, not TVP or some kind of filler. Um, it's actually a decent meal. And on top of that, you're getting 43 grams of protein per pouch with real meat. So can't beat that, honestly. I, I kind of like these. I will probably seed these into my prep slowly. Um, they run, uh, what is it, $12.95, so 13 bucks. When you consider your average mountain house meal is about hmm, seven, eight, nine dollars sometimes $10, depending. Um, and I'm talking about Walmart prices on the mountain house, so that's, what, that's where I get my prices from. You really can't complain about maybe putting a few of these away as a little bit of a change, a little bit of a different taste. Um, they're definitely really, really good stuff. Um, if you're interested in any of the stuff that I've used here, it's all in my store. Just click my Amazon uh, affiliate link down below. You'll find all this stuff, the stove, the cook kit, all that in the store if you're interested. And don't forget to check out our freeze-dried wholesaler link below. If you're interested in starting out with some preparedness foods, he has amazing stuff there. And it's all plain, pure, no junk, no MSG, nothing added. Also, too, don't forget our My Patriot Supply link as well. That's preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. You can get yourselves good deals going on there. And our Thrive Life store as well. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging around with me today and eating, uh, eating some lunch. Stay safe and stay prepared.